Make sure the tail piece is selected, then hold down the shift key and select the other parts of the model. I'm going to click the join button which will create a single mesh object, but before I do that it's well worth saving as uh, an unjoined version, so I'm actually going to call this Jet Unjoined. Then I'm going to click the join button and as you can see we now have a single mesh object. I'm going to change the name of the mesh object to jet plane and I'm going to make the shading smooth and I'm going to go to the materials panel and add a new material which I'm going to call red jet and in the diffuse click on diffuse and make the diffuse color red to add a cockpit go to the add menu mesh UV sphere press G to grab and Y for the Y direction and bring that to the front of the plane then hide the jet plane to shape the cockpit I'm going to go into edit mode I'm going to hold down shift and middle mouse button and pan to get the sphere into view. I'm going to drag with the middle mouse button just to put the sphere at an angle and that way I can check to see if I can see a visible selection or not. Uh, I'm in edge select mode, select an edge from the bottom of the sphere, press B for B select drag out to include the horizontal line in the middle of the sphere press delete and delete vertices going back into object mode I'm going to press S for scale and X for X direction and scale by 0.7 and click the mouse button press S again and scale in the Y direction by 1.4 and enter I'm going to show the jet plane and I'm going to work in the right ortho view press G to grab and just move that up a bit and then press R to rotate and rotate it so the angle is about the same as the nose of the plane then G to grab again and place that where you want it, about there. With the cockpit selected, I'm going to change the shading to smooth. I'm going to add a material and I'm going to set the diffuse color to a pale blue. And I'll call that material cockpit. Make sure the cockpit is selected first, hold down shift and select the plane and then click join. You then have a single mesh object called jet plane. Uh, that's The model's finished as far as I'm concerned. If I go to the data properties I do have residual rotation and scale and to remove that go to the object menu and apply rotation and scale and that's the model finished that's the end of the tutorial I'll put the finished file at my website freemovies.co.uk at the blender channel there thanks for watching and goodbye